All right, you get a data set with a bunch of phone numbers and they look like this. Uh, not consistent, pretty messy. And you would like to get your phone numbers like this in column B. Uh, and uh, there is more than one way to do that, but uh, we're going to try to use a formula. And you can tell there's a long and complex formula in my formula bar. To get started, a couple of functions that you should be aware of. Uh, one is, uh, which is really interesting, it's called sequence. So the sequence function allows you to fill uh, an X number of uh, uh, digits, basically one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And you can specify how many you would like to get. Now you can also specify how many rows or columns you would like to get and then the, you get a sequence of numbers. So that's the sequence. Now, instead of hard-coded values in the sequence numbers, we can get a length of a text string. So, and that's the len function, which is, I'm gonna reference this cell right here. It will give me as many sequential numbers as uh, I have the length of the text string. So, and in this case, I have what? I have 12 uh, characters in that text string. Of course, if I try to change that, then the calculation will give me the number of sequential numbers, uh, as many as I have characters here. I'm gonna undo. So, in order to achieve all of this, uh, I would like as my next step to fill, instead of sequential numbers, I would like to actually line up all of those characters that I have. And to do that, we can add the mid function to that. So mid function will give you the middle X number of characters uh, starting with a certain character. So what I want to do, I want to start, I want to get the middle characters of this starting with the, which character? Well, the character that the sequence function is calculating using sequence land function. And uh, how many characters I would like? I would like one character so that I see the character itself. So starting with an X number of character, I would like to see one character and that means it will give me that character. So now when I modify my formula like that, I get every single character lined up, not lined up, kind of like in a, in a column. And now my next step, I would like to actually uh, leave all the digits, but I would like everything else to be removed. And uh, one way to do that is to, uh, in this particular case, to multiply uh, the result by one. So what does it do really? Well, if you, if you multiply something by one, if it's a digit, then you will get uh, the digit itself. You know, one times one is one, two times one is two, and so on. But if it's a uh, non-digit character, non-numeric uh, value, then you'll get an error message. I mean, if you mul multiply an exclamation mark by one, you will get something weird, right? So you get an error message. Now, whenever you get error messages, you can catch those errors and convert them into something else using the if error function. Uh, and it's fairly easy to do. You just add if error uh, and if error requires two arguments. One is a calculation of sorts, and if the calculation returns an error, then you can provide a, uh, a different result. In my case here, I'm going to type double quote, double quote as my alternative result, alternative result that is returned instead of the error. Double quote, double quote, that will give me uh, an empty cell. It will return an empty cell. So now my sequence is uh, giving me the character if it's a number, a digit, and if it's, gi it's giving me an empty cell if it is uh, uh, not a digit. Like if I add a few here, all of a sudden I get a bunch of empty cells here. So what now? Uh, well, now what we can do, we can combine all of those, but we can skip all the blanks, and that will give us just one string of digits basically sorting out all the uh, removing, filtering out all of the non-digit characters. 
And uh, to do that, we can use the new and really cool, I mean, it's fairly new, um, I found it a couple of years ago, uh, text join uh, function. So text join allows you to join text by selection. In this case, we are not selecting anything, we are using the result of a calculation that returns a list. Uh, we're using that as an input into the text join. The first argument of uh, text join is what is the delimiter or separator character. And I'm using double quote, double quote, which means I don't really want any delimiter. So I'm going to put comma. And the second argument, what shall we do with the blank cells? Now we have a bunch of blank cells and I would like to ignore them. So I'm choosing the true uh, argument for the function. So uh, combine all of that stuff, uh, do not use any delimiter, and uh, ignore all the empty cells, all the empty values in there. And that is what uh, text join will, do, will give me. I'm going to close parentheses and I got the list of uh, numbers only. So now it's kind of like taking this and filtering out all the unnecessary characters and getting clean sequence of those digits, digits only. So now all I need to do is take this value and uh, parse it and then concatenate it into this kind of format using the proper, you know, clean phone format or whatever you wish. That is easy to do. I'm going to use uh, left, the left function to extract the left characters of this text string. And I need three characters for the uh, area code. And I can copy it down like that. Now I will use the mid function. Uh, we used it uh, a few minutes ago. I'm going to use mid and uh, mid of what? Mid of this. Starting with character four. Uh, well, fourth character, not character four, but the fourth character. And I will give the three characters as uh, the three digits of the phone number after the uh, area code. Now for the write function, I will use a uh, write of that text string, four characters, and that will give me the right four characters. Now, all I need to do at this point is to concatenate it using the, uh, uh, you know, the parentheses, you know, brackets and so on. So uh, you can do it in a variety of ways. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a regular concatenation operator, which is the ampersand. So I want to take uh, double quote, open parentheses, double quote. I want to take the open parentheses, concatenate it with the area code, another ampersand, concatenated with the uh, closing parentheses and space after that. I'm going to concatenate closing and space. And then I'm going to put another ampersand. I would like to combine it with the three digits of the phone number. And that I will combine with the hyphen. And I need to use double quote, undouble quote. And I will add to that the four digits, and that will give me the clean phone number. Now, of course, uh, you don't really need all of that stuff. You can build it into, a, into that formula. So I'm going to do that very quickly. I'm going to take the sequence calculation, and you need to do it in the uh, edit mode. You need to double click on the cell and copy the calculation without the equal sign, control C, escape. And uh, Instead of the C2 reference for the left function, you paste the calculation. Enter. And now I'm going to replace the reference to cell C2 in this next one. And I'm going to replace it for the right function also. And I'm going to now take the calculation uh, for the left, which is kind of a long formula, copy. And I will replace the reference to cell D2 in my main formula, copy paste, enter. Now I'm going to take the calculation from column E, control C, escape. And let's see, E2 right here, control V, 
paste, enter, make sure to press enter, not escape. And I'm going to copy and paste the calculation for the uh, F from the F2, which is right here and paste it. I know the formula is getting really long. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to copy it all down. Uh, so I know the formula is getting very long and it's kind of difficult to, you know, analyze it, but it's not difficult to build it if you do it step by step. Now you can get rid of all of that, you know, all of those calculations, preliminary calculations, and now you have your clean phone, um, just like the one I had here, right? So it's a formula-based method. That's it for now. Enjoy.